Hey everyone, this is Kevin from thechesswebsite.com, and today we're going to be going over the con variation in the Sicilian defense. Sicilian defense starts out with pawn e4, pawn c5, and then from here, always going to be knight to f3, but black has so many different options here. The con variation starts out with pawn to e6, after pawn to d4, which is pretty standard for white here. After the exchange, knight to d4, then pawn's going to be coming to a6. And this is the variation that we're going to be looking at today. There's a few main lines that white is normally going to be playing. Uh, knight to c3 is pretty common. Uh, bishop to d3. And then lastly, uh, I see quite a bit of queen to d3. Just centralizing the queen. Very strong move, but we're going to go over how to effectively attack each of those. And then if you are playing against it as white, uh, some variations to think about as well. So the first one we're going to look at is knight to c3. This is the most common, at least the one that I see uh, the most. Now from here, uh, we really want to be playing knight to f6. But the problem is the pawn coming here to e5. And there's no way to really stop this. In other variations of the Sicilian defense, this is not an issue. So if you think to something like the Nidorf, extremely common opening in the Sicilian defense, uh, you have pawn to d6. Uh, and then after pawn d4, we see the exchange. And then knight to f6, very easy. The pawn cannot come here to e5 because the pawn is stopping that. That is the difference in this variation because pawn to e6 instead of pawn to d6. So the small little nuances make a world of difference in the different variations in the Sicilian defense. So after knight to c3, black would like to play knight to f6, but then pawn e5 is going to be bad. Knight to d5, and then after the exchange here, queen to f3 is the key move here, uh, attacking the pawn. Uh, this pawn is going to fall. So that's why uh, black wants to move to f6, but unfortunately right away, he cannot do that. So uh, what black needs to be looking to do is control this e5 square. And there's two main moves that black's looking to do, either knight to c6 and queen to c7. Both of these are completely fine. So I'm going to go over both of the variations, uh, but I, for the most part, they are going to play very similarly. So we'll start out with knight to c6 here. Again, attacking this e5 square so that the knight can freely come here to f6. Now, if white tries something like bishop to f4, putting pressure on this e5 square, black can actually still play knight to f6 because if pawn to e5, then queen to c7, this is fine because if the pawn captures here, uh, then the queen can come up and capture here on f4. So uh, if you see another option, let's say bishop to uh, e2, uh, not worrying about defending the square here on e5. Uh, so bishop to e2, getting rid of castle on the king side. Uh, go ahead and play queen to c7. Getting both of these pieces right here on c7 and c6 is going to be critical if you're going to be playing the con variation. Don't try anything tricky. Just continue with the plan here. Now, if white wants to be extremely aggressive, they could play pawn to uh, f4. Uh, this play is very similar to the King's Gambit, uh, pushing here, castling on the King side if they want to. Uh, the other option that they have is just to castle on uh, the King side. So two options there. If you don't want to start out with Knight to C6, you can also start with Queen to C7. This is completely fine. Uh, now if you see Bishop to E2, continue the same thing, Knight to C6. One thing you could see is... Maybe queen to f3 here. Uh, and if you see this, continue with knight to c6. Now, you're not going to see the queen come out here if the knight comes to c6 first because knight c6, queen here to f3, and then the knight's going to capture here on d4. You can see that is a huge mistake here. But you absolutely could see it if queen to c7, then the queen could come down here to f3. That's the case, knight to c6, as we discussed. Now, if they do want to exchange, 
fine. Go ahead and exchange right here. Uh, always capture with your B pawn. Uh, it is possible to capture here with your uh, your D pawn, but I really like to control the center of the board. You see black has a very strong pawn structure. Uh, you can always push forward, has two central pawns. This is going to be extremely good. And then later, the rook can easily come here to uh, B8. Just have a very, very strong game from black. And really not committing uh, too much. And then later, if you want to play knight to f6, you have that option as well. Now, instead of coming to c3, another variation that you will see is bishop to d3. Just centralizing uh, the bishop, defending this pawn here, and getting ready to castle on the king side. Now, if you are going to be playing as black here, I recommend knight to f6. Uh, the reason for that is a few of them. One, you always want to be coming knight to f6. That's why you're playing queen to c7. That's why you're playing knight to c6. It's all to set up knight to f6. Get your dark square bishop involved later on. Castle on the king side. That's the name of the game. You're not going to be castling on the queen side with an exposed king here on c8. That's not the game plan. Uh, but after knight to f6, this also sets a trap because you'll see this all the time. As soon as you play knight to f6, they feel like, ah, I'm going to go ahead and play pawn to e5 and force this pawn to move. But th very different where the knight is no longer here on c3. And why is that important? Because the queen can come to a five check, and then this pawn is going to fall. So knight to c3 is a pretty common move, and then queen to e5, taking the pawn and check. So not only is it the best variation in my opinion, uh, but it also sets a nice trap that a lot of people are going to fall into. So if you're playing as white, you may see some other variations, so I will go over those. But if you are playing as black, playing the con variation, knight to f6 is going to be your go-to. But some of the other variations you may see, if you are white, you could see knight to c6. Just continue the theme, say this is how we're going to go. Uh, if you're playing white, you have a couple options. You could go ahead and take uh, with your knight right here. They could capture castle on the king side. Uh, they could play rook here to b8. If there's not a capture here, uh, then really you're going to be looking to bring the knight back here to f3. And then let's say they played knight to f6, which is what black is looking to do here. Uh, knight to c3, queen to c7, same game plan as before. Bishop to g5, one thing that you will start to see more of uh, in this variation uh, is the knight coming here to uh, g4. Uh, because there's no pressure uh, really being put on by any pawns here, if there's pawn h3, then the knight can come to e5. And you can see it has protection both from the knight and the queen here on c7. going to be very difficult to push this away. There's no d pawn to push it. And the pawn here on f2 is not going to be moving anytime soon. So those are a couple options that you will see uh, if they move their knight back to f3. And then if we come back and say instead of knight to c6 at the very beginning, another variation that you could see uh, is the bishop coming here to c5, uh, attacking the knight right here. The knight's pretty much going to be coming to b3 uh, every time attacking the bishop. I don't think it makes a lot of sense to bring the knight back here to f3. Uh, just bring it back to b3, attacking the bishop. The bishop should be coming back here to a7. If they want to retreat to e7, play knight to f6 in the future, castle on the king side, they can. I just feel like bishop to a7 is much stronger. Keeps it on this long dark square diagonal, attacking the f2 square, which is a huge weakness early on because the king is the only piece that is defending this. So this puts a, a lot of pressure on their opponents. After bishop to a7, knight to c3, common development move. Knight to c6, castle on the king side, knight to f6. All of these are pretty standard, uh, as you can see in each of the variations in the con variation. The last variation that we will look at, instead of the bishop coming here to d3, sometimes you'll see queen to d3. In this case, I always recommend just playing queen to c7. Now, knight to c6 is eventually going to come there, uh, but knight to c7 is my go-to move here. Uh, knight to c3 is going to be the most common move that you will see. And then from here, knight to f6, if they want to play 
uh, something around bishop to e2. Uh, you can see here both the queen uh, or the queen is defending the square here on e5. So maybe uh, bishop to e2. Uh, and then knight to c6. If they want to try something odd, uh, I have seen people commentate on games where queen to g3. That's a lot of queen movements for me as white. Not a huge fan of this. But if you do run into this, queen takes here after the pawn takes here on g3. Then the move black's going to be looking for is pawn to e5. There's not a lot of times that black is able to push forward and it makes sense. But in this case, it absolutely does. Uh, attacking the knight. The knight's going to come back here to e2. And then knight to c6. And this is a very solid structure for black. Does have a backward pawn here on d7. Uh, so eventually want to get the dark square a bishop involved into the game. Push up this pawn, get the light square bishop involved. Castle on the king side has a pretty good structure, uh, knowing that white has double pawns here. Maybe looking to castle on the queen side. But all in all, this is a pretty safe variation in the Sicilian defense. Has a lot of strong attacking uh, lines. And as many players playing the Sicilian, they're looking for an advantage playing as black in this this is very aggressive if you're looking for something and you don't want to go with the common uh, night dwarfs and some of the others that you typically see in the Sicilian offense. So thank you so much for watching the con variation in the Sicilian offense. Uh, if there's other variations you'd like me uh, to do, feel free to reach out and email me. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.